like it or not, but Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions are back in business in a big, big way. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. Now, Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions is having a pretty, pretty good run right now. First and foremost, big shout out and congratulations to Saddam Ali for winning a 154-pound title over the great Miguel Cotto. Like I've stated in previous videos, building a star 101. Put your young guy against the older guy with a name. If you win that fight, that's the building blocks on creating a star. So, again, big shout out to Saddam Ali for pulling that fight off. Now, another thing that Golden Boy has going on is the David Lemieux, Billy Joe Saunders fight, which is, I think, December 16th. Um, but it's coming up. And. David Lemieux actually has a home game. So it's rare for the champion that has drawing power in the UK is willing to come over to the visitor's hometown for a title defense. And that's nothing but Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy actually using their cash cow in Canelo Alvarez in that negotiation. So I'm pretty sure that it's either contractually obligated or it's just a backdoor deal that if Billy Joe Saunders can beat David Lemieux in David Lemieux's backyard, then he would have the inside track to get a fight with Canelo Alvarez, which is the ultimate stage for Billy Joe Saunders. Now, if David Lemieux wins that fight, then Golden Boy has another champion, which would be at middleweight. And Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions is also the unofficial promoter of Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. Let me explain. Now, Triple G and Tom Loeffner, they basically, they did a horrible job. They did a horrible job. They played their cards all wrong. What they should have did is they should have unified with Billy Joe Saunders when they had the chance, became a unified champion, and then for Canelo Alvarez and it wouldn't even have been for all the marbles because Canelo Alvarez is beefing with the WBC and that belt probably wouldn't have been on the line in that fight so if Canelo even won that fight Triple G would have still been a champion in the WBC in the middleweight division so either way he would have got the bag of money from the Canelo Alvarez fight and he would have still been a champion so they really screwed themselves in this situation. Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions, they control Triple G's fate at middleweight, at 160 pounds, any way you slice it. So if David Lemieux wins that fight, he has to go through Golden Boy if he wants to unify. If he wants the rematch against the Cash Cow, then he has to go through Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya to get Canelo Alvarez back in the ring. If Billy Joe Saunders wins the fight against David Lemieux, Billy Joe Saunders is going to take the Canelo Alvarez fight because it's a bigger bag of money. And he's basically in-house now, too, with Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya. So all the Triple G's options has to go through Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya. And Oscar De La Hoya, you can knock him. Because he's doing what any person would do when they had a cash cow. They're using their cash cow to leverage everything else that they have going on. And it's just smart. It's just good business. But Triple G and Tom Loeffner, they just did a bad job um, playing this situation. And they basically sold their soul to get, you know, the Canelo fight. So that's what happens when you don't play your cards right. Now... Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya, they also have this Floyd Mayweather situation going on right now where they're beefing in the media, going back and forth. And let's not get this confused. I, I don't think this is like theater. Like, I honestly think they don't like each other. They're not fond of each other at all inside or outside of the ring. So even though I think part of this is promotion, I also think part of this is legitimate rivals, legitimate beef in terms of two two fighters and two promoters and two businessmen so 
if they're laying the groundwork that I think that they're laying, which is basically to set up a Floyd Mayweather versus Oscar De La Hoya two um, fight, then that also puts Oscar De La Hoya back in the ultimate spotlight. It puts Golden Boy Promotions back in the ultimate spotlight. And that's a guaranteed $100 million bag for Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions. So, you know, Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy got things rolling right now. And they also have young guys that could become champions within the next year or two. So it's amazing what Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy is doing right now, recovering from dealing with Al Heyman and Richard Schaefer and, and going through the personal problems and things like that. And a lot of people will talk about the pictures and the fishnets and everything. And I would never clown somebody that um, went through that type of withdrawal. So just as a man to another man, I would wish that Oscar De La Hoya has himself on the up and up. He's always in recovery mode and he's always fighting and overcoming that demon because you can't go to fighters and recruit fighters and try to control their careers and essentially their livelihood when you're not together yourself personally. So for no other reason, he should be on the up and up because it's good for business. And he also needs to use um, Bernard Hopkins and Shane Mosley more in terms of the company to recruit some of these African-American fighters. Now, the whole email issue with the Golden Boy employee to use the, the N word, I don't think he ever really addressed that. So as a company, they definitely need to address that with any um, African-American fighter that they recruit. And they needed to address that just in the media period to put that to rest. But if they can recruit more African-American fighters and he has some of his young guys become champions, as crazy as it sounds, Golden Boy Promotions may be the top promotional company in the next two to three years and who would have thought that a couple of years ago when he was dealing with Al Heyman and dealing with uh the Cold War with Top Rank and PBC and Richard Schaefer and everything so it's a major bounce back a remarkable comeback story for Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions it's G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Hit the notification button when you subscribe. So when I drop that heat, you'll be notified and you'll be able to listen to the videos soon as they come out. Let me know what you think. Put your comments in the comments section. Let's go back and forth. Let's talk about this. G5 Jeff TV. I'm out.